Hi, today I wanted to show you how to add images to your Wix website without actually going into the editor. First off, um, this is a blog post here, and this is where we're going to be adding the images. Um, but to get to this point, you're going to log into Wix um, with your email and password. And once you're in Wix, you'll be on your dashboard. As long as you have a blog post installed, you can add images here. So let's go to Overview on Blog. And then you'll see the existing blog post and, and also an option to create a new, excuse me, a new blog post. If you want to create a new blog post um, while you're doing this, maybe with some of the new images you're using, feel free to click on this. Um, that's going to take you into the Wix blog editor. You can add a title for your blog post. You can add uh, text in here. And using this plus symbol, this is where you can add images to your media library on Wix. We'll click on this. And then you'll see these are all the images that have already been uploaded to your website. If you want to upload new ones, click on Upload Media, and then click on Upload from Computer. You can choose multiple images by shift selecting or using Command and clicking on multiple ones to select multiples. Um, or you can just upload one picture, but we'll do two. And then click on Open down here, and it'll start to upload. Once they're uploaded, you'll see that they're here in your media library. These are now available for any Wix pages on your website. So this is just your general library for any Wix images um, to use in blogs or pages or backgrounds, etc., galleries, etc. Um, if you click on one of these images, you'll see that you can edit. You can double click on the name here and you can name these with words that are appropriate and describing what that image is. Um, I always like to add stuff so that I can search for these images later. Um, if you have a particular type of wall or, or fence, for example, you can name it with the style of fence or the type of it of fence it is. You can also say where it's located, such as a city or a state. Um, so I always like to do that. The reason I like to add these is because you'll see as by default they come in with the image name. Uh, and a lot of times that has a .jpg or .png after it, or a date, or just gibberish. So I like to modify these and customize them so that they're easy to find. And the also the reason that it's good to update these is because by default, a lot of times this text of the image comes in as either the alt text, which is good for SEO, or um, the title in a cat or a caption, basically in galleries. So naming them with something that that sounds good, that is legible and readable by a user is always helpful so that when you're uploading new galleries and putting pictures in them, it automatically bring, brings this information through. Um, you can always edit it too on that side of things, but it's nice to have it on the picture itself. So titling your images with good keywords that help tell us what that image is and what it's showing, the style of fence, for example, is always helpful. I'm going to move these to trash because we don't need these here. Um, another thing you can do is you can add them to a favorites board. If you click here on favorites and then click over here to my boards, this will show you all your favorite images that you have bookmarked basically. So if there's some pictures that you really like that you've uploaded, it's always nice to give them this little add to favorites so it'll show up there so that you don't have to search through hundreds of pictures down the road. I will say that having unique images on your site is very helpful for SEO, which SEO is search engine optimization. The more pictures that you have that are on your site that are unique to your site, the better. Google really likes to see fresh new content and new pictures and hundreds of different kinds of pictures are helpful. Um, so I would say, for example, in this case of this fence, you could take several different angles of this fence, maybe from different sides or have the tree on the left or have it on the right. Every unique picture can be helpful for SEO because every picture is indexed and looked at by Google. And the more unique ones that you have on your website, the better, even if they're of the same subject, if they're different angles or different, um, if there's different things in the picture or different cropping, if it's vertical versus horizontal, that all can be very helpful for your SEO because then we can drop these unique images onto each page and optimize them to help you get found online. Um, you can also edit pictures in here, although I would say leave the main ones too. Of course, 
when you do editing in Wix, it will actually keep the original picture. So if I cropped this different, or if I use this enhance feature, um, there's a lot of cool little features in this little photo studio that you can use um, to make the image brighter, or to give it more um, saturation, that kind of thing, to make it prettier. Um, it's kind of like a little mini Photoshop uh, based right here in Wix. When I click on save, you'll notice it creates a duplicate of that picture. So I have my original picture and then I have the new picture. It usually puts edited underscore edited after each one. So that's when you can come in and modify this, um, put in you know, proper punctuation and so forth to carry that through to wherever we drop this in on the page. So making these pictures and adding lots of pictures here will help in the long run for SEO because then we can use them for blog posts, for galleries, for image backgrounds or uh, page backgrounds, etc., etc. Um, and the more the merrier. So feel free to take lots of different angles of things and upload all your pictures here because the more we have to work from, the better for your SEO. Uh, once you're done, you can just close out of this and you can also close out of this blog post. Um, and now all those pictures are going to be here for future use. So if I click on, on any of these um, posts and then I click on plus and use this image, you'll see all these images are now here. So anything I've uploaded will be here forever for me to use going forward. Let me know if you have any other questions in regards to doing this, but I just wanted to show you how you can add pictures into your uh, Wix website so that you don't have to use Google Drive or Dropbox or something to send them. Um, you can actually just upload them directly to your site for future use. Of course, these pictures don't automatically show up on your site unless you were to add a blog post that included them or if you went into the editor itself, which is located here, uh, and that pops up a new window where you can edit each of your individual pages on your site. Um, so, but this is a good way to get your pictures into it so that you have them or your website designer has them for future use. Let me know if you have any other questions.